Hello, hello, hello. These are pretty. Oh. Hello, 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 everybody. Hello out there. How are you doing? Hello. I am beating tonight. In case you're wondering, I've got some orders for some maidens. So, and an angel. Oh. Oh. And I got something in the mail from my band. I'm really excited about it. I wanted to tell you all about that. I thought that was pretty cool. Mm, and I started a new crochet project. If you follow me on Instagram, you already know I started a crochet project. But if you don't follow me on Instagram, that's okay. And I started a crochet project. That was the one I was looking for. Where was it? I would have put you somewhere surrounded by not pink colors. Hmm. Always use pen and paper and write down what colors you use. No, that's not them. Hmm, that's okay. So I got an order. Hi, Flower Tammy, how are you doing? Welcome in. I got an order for purple. So I'm just picking my purple. That's pretty purple. One is a new purple. I haven't made an angel out of this one yet. I need my black. Oh, that's chocolate brown. I need my black. There it is. I need my face color. There that is. I need my lip color. Red, luster, opaque. No, we should probably go matte. Hmm. So, how are you doing, Flower Tammy? How are you doing? Happy Saturday. And I kind of like these. Put the pink. No. Yes, the white pearl. Or... Or the white pearl. <clears throat> the white pearl or the white pearl? Hmm. Let me see. What's the difference? One is AB. One is AB. Yeah. Okay. White pearl AB. And that's white pearl DB201 white pearl. Oh, okay. Is just white pearl. <clears throat> the difference is in the finish. These have an AB finish, and I'll use those because those are pretty. And what color should go with the purple? More purple. I agree. More stinking purple. How about these ones? They'll go pretty with those. Yes, they will. Ooh, I like that. Just because they're different. Just because they're different, I like them. I'll show you. I'll show you what shade. Sorry if you see me making faces. It's because I threw my back out this week. And I say this week. It started 
it started actually Sunday, Saturday, Sunday. And it's, uh, it's been healing ever since, and it's really painful. You never realize how many muscles are connected to your back until you start trying to do stuff with your arms, with your upper body, with your legs. Yeah. I was in bed for the first day. And then I second day I said, no, I can't do it no more. I got to come out and sit down, which was not good. And I've been slowly healing since, but it's been a very slow go. I'm I'm hobbling around here with a walker and crutches. No word of a lie. Seriously. Thank the goddess my hubby had them. And I made fun of him for having a walker. Because I said to him, who's going to use that? Like, who is going to use a walker? Like, you're healthy, I'm healthy, Sammy. You know, like, I've used that walker this week. I have praised him for getting that walker. I'm so happy he has that walker. I have totally gone back on what I said. Totally. Because... Yeah, oh, I know what pink it was. It was this pink right here because I put it right in the front. That was the pink that I have. So I'll put these beads away that I had laying out. Oh, so I was going to do a girl, but then I threw my back out. And sitting is okay, but it's sitting up. If I sit back, it's not so bad. But sitting up like I'm doing right now, it hurts. It stinking hurts. And you have degenerative disc and pinched nerves. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that because, yeah, that sucks. I don't want that. But I might have to go in and see what's going on because this isn't, like I used to, I've, I've, I've had back pain before. I put my back out. You know, it's not unheard of. So. I want to stand on a regular basis, but it's not regular basis, but it's not unheard of for me to throw my back out, right? It's why I have Robaxis set. It's why I have so many stinking heating pads and why, frankly, I have so many pillows. So I, uh, and usually, you know, I take a few Robaxis set. I go lie down. I, I do the sit with the heating pad. I sleep on my back. I try as best I can to sleep on my back because I'm a side sleeper. And once I'm asleep, I have no idea what I'm doing. Um, yeah, and then usually I get up the next day and I'm sore, but I can move. No, not this time. Not this time at all. I have been very... Very stiff, very sore, very much in pain. And uh, I haven't been able to crochet because I, I can't lose myself in crochet like I can lose myself in beading. Beading, it just, I don't know what it is. I just lose myself in it. But crochet, not so much because you got to count and you got to stay aware of where you are and what you're doing, you know, if you're following a pattern, which I am. So, I haven't felt like crocheting since I put my back out. I did try and crochet the day I spent in bed, and since then, haven't really picked it up. I've uh, tried to uh, I tried to kill. I tried to game all week, let me tell you about that one. That didn't work because... The game needed an update. So silly me thought, you know, I could update the game because it gives clear instructions on what to do. And I'm not, you know, uneducated in these things. So Trish decides to download the update. Yeah. 
so that spent I spent four days troubleshooting yeah. why the updates didn't work on my laptop until the fifth day and I said, Okay, that's it, I'm done which was yesterday. And I went I deleted all of that update. All of the game files associated with that update. I down I downgraded to the version forty eight, which was the last version they had before they updated. And uh everything is good. I've been gaming since yesterday. It's nice. But I have not been able to crochet much. It's all about trying to lose myself into something so that the pain doesn't bother me as much and I can relax those back muscles. And the game really actually does that for me. I love game. I love to game. So it was a... Uh, Thank goodness I finally got it working kind of thing. I did enjoy the geeking out, trying to figure out what was wrong, though. I did enjoy that, too. It was frustrating, though. I know my hubby was frustrated with me. It is good to have other escapes. And even though it was annoying that my computer chose that time to, you know, not like that update, because that update looked really nice. It is what it is, as they say, and uh, I'm quite happy gaming with the other game. It's unfortunate that I had to go through that process because I was level 21 on that on that version, but it was glitchy. I have to admit it was glitchy. I have in this process, I have uninstalled my game completely installed all the game files all of the game files i have reinstalled the game twice, <laughs> twice. yeah so it's not glitchy no more it's run smooth it rains and the Graphics are still nice, which was where it was glitchy before. So, eh. And it is good to have other, other like, I don't watch TV. I don't like TV. I don't have the attention span for movies. It's really hard to keep me at, my attention in a movie or a TV show. Sometimes I can, I, I, I do get, you know. Ooh, look, Star Wars The Bad Batch. I like that. So it depends on what's on the telly, as they say. But generally, I'm doing something other than watching TV because I don't like what's on. <clears throat> so I'm doing a lady in... I've been asked to uh, uh, do a Lady in Purple, one of my maidens. Let me show you. I just actually put this on its pin, so I did a really good job. You listen to Two Crime? I had a friend who listened to Two Crime. She loved it. I couldn't stand true crime just for the simple fact that it depresses me, knowing there's sickos up there. So there's one of my maidens. So yes, this one's in purple. I'm making a new one. Because I do. I listen to audiobooks a lot and uh I watch YouTube videos. 
when I can watch them and do something. But lately, it's just been no, I can't. I I, I can't do that. It's either watch them or do something. It's not both, and that really sucked. So I've been doing what I can. I've been watching a lot of replays and and lives. I've been getting into the lives. Oh. They're two alike. They are, aren't they? They are two alike. One is lavender and one is lilac. I can't tell you the difference right now. The one seems a little lighter. Oh, silver line violet. Looks blue, but it's not blue. It's purple. It's gorgeous. I have a dress kind of in that color. Like a gorgeous. I have my grad dress was in that color. My grad dress from Adult 12. Then I had a new grad dress. No, that was from a uh, grad dress from my three-year IT. So that was, what's this? That's red gold. What's this? That's dark rose opaque. No, you want purples. Okay, I got my purples. I don't have a lot of purples right now. Believe it or not, purple is a very, very um, popular color. So I tend to run out of purple a lot. Yes, thank you. Beautiful colors. Beautiful colors. What am I doing? I'm going to do the lilac. And the lavender could go back. I'll have this as if it, and this is my skin. My ivory pear opaque luster. I need more skin tones. What's this? Uh, beige. Well, she's native. She's beige. She's not yellow, which is good. But, <coughs> yeah, no. Sorry. Excuse me. Try to throw. Okay. Oh. Mm. Sorry. Just a little pain. Okay, so you get your main color, which is going to be this. This is my main color. This is a uh, lilac silver lined. This is my second color. This is frosted glazed purple matte. And it's a matte color, but it's beautiful purple. And then Oops, I've got a pink in there. And then this is another, this is the highlight, highlight per color. This is the white. And then we have the black. And we have the red lip. So this is what we do. We get our... I'm jumping ahead. We don't get our string on our needle yet. Well, you can if you want to. First, we have to get some beads out of the container. Silly me.
I find that is always the hardest part is to start. Once I start, I can figure it out. I can follow the pattern, but the pattern didn't tell me how to start, and I can't ever remember how to do it. And yet, it's not that hard if I stop thinking about it. I think I overthink it. I stress myself out over it. Come on, work with me here. That was the wrong way. You can always tell if it's going to work or not. And that is not a work. Do I have three of them on there? Yes, I do. There we go. Now, I got it started. We just build on to it. The you got a little triangle. If all went well, and all went well, ow. But I can't do this. Oh. I tried, but it hurts too much to sit forward. Mm. So we'll talk instead. Mm -hmm. I'm just sitting here and I can't concentrate on my beating because I can't sit forward because it hurts. Uh, oh, well, I tried. I'm sorry. Not going to bead. Oh. So, how's your week been? Did I already ask that? My week has been painful. Other than that, you know, it's been a strain on the family. Oh, you're still here. Cool. Yeah, it's been a strain on the family. I mean, but they've really stepped up to the plate and helped me out. My hobby's been amazing. He really has. Oh, sorry. Just spasm. It doesn't like me tonight. Oh, oh. We won't do that again. So, yeah, this has been my week. I, uh, I've been sitting back. I probably would do a lot better if I laid in bed. But I'm practically at that point where I want to just spend the day in bed again. 
Yeah, I'm very lucky, Tammy. I have a wonderful family. I have my hubby and I have my son. So I'm lucky, very much so. And my hubby has all the gadgets. I got a cane. You can see my cane right here. Um, I got a walker. You're alone? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, that's tough. Oh, sorry about that. Didn't mean to cough. Yeah, it's tough being alone. That sucks. And I'm sorry that you are. Oh. Sometimes it's personal choice. Sometimes it's not. But when you have a debilitating issue that, you know, makes it hard to get around, get things you know, it affects your mobility. It would be nice to have that other being. Do you have a service animal? You should get a service dog. Or a service cat. But dogs are better. They can train you. You can train them to do so much. To help around the house. They can turn on lights. They can get things from the fridge. They can, you know, retrieve things for you. They can help you with mobility. Can't do dogs? That's unfortunately. That's unfortunate. I'd be lost without my dogs, especially Gus. He's such a pleasure to have. But I'm gonna, yeah, I'm, I love my Mudfoot too. My Mudfoot's my sweetheart. He's always had issues. <laughs> Never had issues. He's just been a needy, needy dog ever since he was little. And by needy, I mean he would love to be patted 24 hours a day. Just put his la head in your lap. And that's all you have to do. Is just be able to, you know, pat him. He'll love you forever. Just pat him. He's a sweetheart. But... Yeah, my uh, cousin Lenore, she has horrible, 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 um, debilitating uh, issues. And uh, I told her she should get a service dog. And uh, she said, what kind of service dog would you suggest? I said, a big one. Like one that can help you move. That you can, if you fall, can help you get up. That can help you. You can brace yourself on like a big Newfoundland. They have dogs trained to do that. So she didn't. She got a different dog. But, you know, she's happy. So that's all that I care about. Oh, I'm going to be down to one dog soon. So it sucks. But he's at the end here. He's at the end. He's pooped on the floor twice today. Yeah, I'm talking about you, Mr. Poop on the floor twice. And the second time he didn't even notice. Didn't notice. And that tells me that back end of his is really degenerating and feeling hi veronica you have a cat i have a cat too his name is solstice solstice and he's pure white and he's evil <laughs> they say this because he's my honey's cat yeah my hubby is not a cat person but the cat Loves him. Loves him. Comes when he calls kind of thing. Cats are funny creatures. Yeah. He's a good mouser. Except the last time there was a mouse, I ended up catching it and tossing it outside. 
I was told by my husband, never toss a mouse outside, you drown it. And I was like, I can't do that. I'm sorry. I grew up in a pet store and I saw enough stuff. I can't do that. <laughs> I will toss it outside in the deepest snowbank and eat it. He went, and he landed in a snowbank. After that, I told him if he tunneled uh, through the snow and he made it to the planter, he could probably live in the planter. But don't you dare come back in my house or I'll let the cat eat him. Black and white tuxedo. Ooh. We had an all black cat named Salon and we had an all white cat. We have an all white cat named Solstice. But unfortunately, Salon had to be put down because of his, he had, he got sick and it got really bad. Uh, and we took him in, we, we surrendered him because we could not keep him. <clears throat> he was suffering too much. <clears throat> and we couldn't afford the dental fees because they're absolutely insane. And I'm here on uh, disability, so, you know, 2000 a month don't go far. Yeah. But we've had nothing but plus temperatures, snow's melting at a fast rate, drying everything out, which is awesome. Hopefully, you know, the little floods here and there that are happening won't be so bad. Um, so far, our basement is fairly dry, thanks to my husband's efforts. So, yeah. Because we live in a old house <laughs> that has not a very good basement. Yeah. We're doing good. Okay. Everybody's doing good. I threw my back out. So I'm in pain. <laughs> I threw my back out Sunday. Saturday, Sunday. And then I've been in pain ever since. So I'm not healing as quick as I wish I could. Like I did in the past. And it's a very painful week for me. And I've had a lot of Robaxa set. They didn't help. I've had an Aproxin. That didn't help. I've had Tamil doll. I don't know. Something that was a good painkiller. That didn't help. So... Hot bath. I had a nice long hot bath today. And that helped. Thank you to my husband. Who boiled the water for me. Because we're homesteading. We don't have a hot water tank. But yeah. I got two orders for maidens. Someone wants a purple maiden. Someone wants a maiden and an angel. So I have that. And then I got asked on the crochet end to make two cardigans, two matching cardigans, just different colors, but the same type, you know, same cardigan pattern. Um... And I've already picked out the yarn for the first one, and she loves that. And I sold a blanket that I crocheted. Technically, my husband sold it for me. Tentatively. So 
And today I made 20 bucks. A friend came over with his ferret and asked me to do his nails. So I clipped the ferret's nails, made 20 bucks. I'm a jack of all trades. Yeah. I clip kitty's nails. I clip my puppy's nails. I clip ferret's nails. I'm a jack of all trades. Ah, uh, the skills you learn in the pet store. And Tammy, I saw your comment. You need to go lay down. I know, but you know what? I won't. I might as well stay here and talk to you guys because otherwise I'm going to sit on my computer and I'm going to game. So, you know, at least I'm here talking to you guys. I find lying down very boring. Very boring. Then, yeah, see, I'm moving. Why? Because I can't stay still. Even when my back is out, I can't stay still. Like, that's been the hardest thing is trying not to move. You know, because every time I moved in the beginning there, it hurt. I moved my legs. They hurt. I moved my arms. My back hurt. You know, like, I could not hold something in front of me with any weight. It was horrible. Uh -huh. Oh, and my band gave me a $200 gift card for uh, groceries. Isn't that awesome? I think that's awesome. So looking forward to spending that. That'll help a lot. That came in the mail. Yeah, I should lay down, though. I know you're right. I do know you're right, and I wish I could. Like, I do. That's probably what is making my back not heal so fast, like why I'm still sore. Oh, sorry, itchy foot. Oh. But, oh, it's probably why my back hasn't gotten better faster is because I've been on it. You're supposed to be standing up or laying down. I can't stand up because of my hips. Can't say standing up. That and Franklin, my vertigo. No. <laughs> and, uh, so lying down, yeah, boring. I couldn't crochet. I just, I tried. Hey, D, how you doing? I am right. Go lay down. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna stay here and talk to you guys. I'll think about it. If it gets really bad, I promise I'll go lay down. But so far, it's not so bad. It really isn't. Like, I'm fairly comfortable right now. Fairly pain-free. So, I'm okay. I'm just... I'd rather talk to you guys. Then, yeah, if I wasn't talking to you guys, I'd just be sitting here gaming anyway. Well, not here in the living room, but in the same chair, you know, on the same computer, I'd just be gaming. So, 
rather talk to you guys. Although my character, I did just start a new character because I had to yesterday. So I'm level five. I was in a dungeon, but I kept getting beat. I was doing fine, 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 not doing fine. <laughs> tried again, nope. Tried again, nope. Tried different tactic, nope. <laughs> okay, turn around and beat it out of there because there's only so many times I can die realizing, you know, this isn't going to work. So, yeah. I'll come back to that dungeon after I get up a few more levels. I threw my back out, D. That's what it is. I threw my back out. Um, I bent and twisted. That's all I did was bend and twist. I know better. My back really is that bad that I bend, twist, and I'm down. So, you know, took a couple of Rebaxa sets, and I spent the rest of the day lying down, and the day after that lying down in bed because the pain was really bad, and it didn't work. <laughs> it did not work, damn it. So I've been out of bed since then but it's slowly getting better every day i'm a little better i really am every day step by step a little better it's just i'm really taking a long time healing and it's like i've never taken this long of time healing a back injury before like what's going on so it's like, hey, you don't think anything's going on, but geez, it's just, it's annoying. I don't like being in pain. I don't deal well with pain. Like I deal with pain every day of my life. I am sick and tired of extra pain is what I'm saying. Get back to the regular stuff. Plus, I hate back pain. Your back pain, your muscles in your back are attached to everything. You want to walk? It's your back. You want to lift something? It's your back. I take a drink of juice. It's my back. It hurts. Well, it did really bad before. I was actually leaning over and sipping out of a cup with a straw. Trying not to hold things. Just crocheting. It was just really hard. So, but now I'm up and I can, uh, I can walk without the walker too. And in fact, I've walked around here without the cane today. So, even yesterday. So I'm getting better. So yay. Like I said, my family stepped up to the plate. They've been awesome. My husband has been just a dream. He's done everything for me. He's so awesome. Even though he gets sick and tired of doing it. I know. I try not to be such a pain to him. But. Mm. Sorry, I can't stay still. I just can't stay still. I'm going to try and sit back and see. Can you guys still hear me if I sit back? Or should I sit closer again? Look at how white my hair is getting, or gray, or whatever that color is. Jeez. I'm starting to look old. And yet, no wrinkles. Hmm. I'm a mutant. 
Actually, as I bring that up because we are calling my husband a mutant today. Ow. Sorry. Itchy. I have scratched myself raw in places because for some reason I'm itchy. Well, that's one of the places the back of my neck and it was because I, it got irritated because I was wearing a certain shirt that irritated it. I didn't think anything of it. I just kept on scratching it. It felt so good scratching it. Well, the next day, you know, I'm wearing a different shirt. And uh, I'm I'm fiddling with the collar or something. I noticed there's like scabbing on my neck. It's like, oh, I think I scratch too much. So that's healing. I have really sharp nails. See, I trimmed them all off today because they were long and sharp. So. It's better sometimes than no nails. Plus, it's really hard to beat and do stuff when you have nails. As much as I like having nails, no nails is better. Because my nails get broken. And then I get upset because I broke a nail. Because then the rest of them aren't even. And then you all got to clip them all off anyway. Because you broke one. Might as well clip all the rest. <sighs> right? It's so hard being a woman. The guys don't get it. <laughs> oh, let's try this again because I feel like it. No, see, it's sitting at this angle. For some reason, it's sitting at this angle. Okay, what did I do here? Okay. Do, 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 do. Oh. oh, yeah. I'm alive. Oh, don't spasm now because that would be really bad. Oh. Mm. Mm. Okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. Boogie 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 boogie. See this constant moving back and forth is not good. Just saying. It would be better if my chair was closer to the table, but I can't do that. Because I can't, um, if I try and shuffle it with my hips, that's a no-no. <laughs> that really hurts. Okay, let me see. Okay, good night, Tammy. Hugs back. You have a good night. I hope you get a lot of rest. Thanks for coming in. So I am crocheting one of my maidens. Quit being stupid. 
for being stupid. Oh, sorry. I'm beating, not closing. Thank you, honey. Yeah, they may want the truth. No, one more. Hey, baby. Yeah. Yeah. I need to tighten up these stitches here. And I am so glad I have these glasses on to do so. But wish I had my neck light. No, because I got a light here. I just got to get the stitch. That little piece of thread. There we go. There we go. Aha, uh -huh, you're awesome. Have I said that lately? I love you. I do. I love you. Oh, it's going to be like that, are we? <laughs> You're not talking. You're not talking to me. Okay, so we have the basis of our maidens. We have, nope, we still have one more. Which means we need one more of those. Yay. Okay, there we go. Okay. So now I uh, want to go back up. So I'm going to weave in and out until I come up through the one on the end. That means I usually, I want to go up through that one. What do you got there? He's ignoring me. He's got snacky snacks out there and that's not fair. What am I making? I'm making one of my maidens. One of my maiden stitch markers. I was ordered. Ordered. Sorry. I have two orders for stitch markers. So I am beating stitch markers. Ow. With my back. But the nice thing is I'm enjoying it. Oh. And I like to think of it as exercising that back muscle that doesn't really like to be exercised right now.
A little stretching never killed anybody, right? Okay. Boogie, boogie. So I got asked to do a purple one. And then I have to look, and then someone wants a, an angel. So I have two princesses and an angel. I have to stitch up. This is the first day I've managed to stitch. So yay me. Look at that. I'm getting that started. Oh, that's what you snuck out. Fruit loop stealer. I know. I call you that, and yet you gave me the fruit loops. <laughs> oh, funny. I was just thinking of the great advice we got from our vice. Our, or our finance deputy, deputy prime minister, deputy finance prime minister, minister, finance minister. Uh, yeah. and, you know the wonder of the world. You know the history professor that you know the history major that is now our charge of our finances. Yeah, she actually said in response to why you know like how uh -huh. people come people keep going to the food bank. Like people are going to the food bank in droves here in Canada because of this stupid tax. And the prices are going up because, <laughs> you know, everything got a tax. Tax every step of the way along the tax way. Tax every step of the way. So who gets to eat that tax? Why? We do. And yet Trudeau stood in the House of Commons and actually said, you know, his his party can find no correlation That's between the 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 GST the the carbon tax and the and some kind of link to higher grocery prices. He can't. There's like his his party can't find a. Well, do remember the Prime Minister has admitted that he doesn't understand mathematics at all. But if you take 13 and 14, he doesn't know that it's automatically 27. His words, exactly. So, yeah. And our finance minister uh, actually went on camera and said, you know what? You can eat cereal for supper. Yeah, she's telling us Canadians we can eat cereal for supper. <laughs> hey, Marita, how are you doing? Hola. Should be careful what I say on YouTube, though, you know, because stupid law, it's called hate law. The government's going to make it so that we can't even uh, say bad things about the government. For dis, not happy with the government. 
Um, what did I do? I don't know what I'm doing here, folks. I'm stitching something, but I think I got lost it. You go away. And then we go up through this one. You want to turn? I don't care. You hear me? I don't care. I got to take this off because you do not want to know where I ran. I picked up 10 items today. I was over 100. I almost had a go. I know. It's like ridiculous out there. Every month we go in and do our main shopping. And every month we've got, it's cost us more and more and more. And we're getting less and less. And last. Well, we're getting the same amount. It just costs more. Although there is shrinkflation. There is shrinkflation. So, yeah, it's like insane. Yeah. And over here in Canada, you know, we've been told, you know, there's no direct correlation between the price of the carbon tax and the rising cost of food. And if we go hungry, we can just eat cereal. So. That's our politicians for you. Okay, you should have a bowl. Oh, Yeah, it's just the prices have just gotten ridiculous. I mean, do you know how long it's been since we've had a roast? Since my husband has had beef ribs? We used to have a roast almost every weekend. You know, every month we'd have a roast for sure. I haven't had a roast now. I can count it in years. It's like... The cost of cow is ridiculous. Cost of chicken is ridiculous. Turkeys too. Turkeys too. So I'm really glad and happy that my uh, band gave me this $200 gift card for groceries. It's really going to come in handy.
But yeah, I'm just sitting here, just beating away. I'll show you what I'm making, what I've made so far while I've been sitting here talking to you guys. It's just a little piece of purple um baby. That's all it is. Tiny beads. What I find really cool is um, the butchers in the area are starting a, a buddy program because there's a lot of interest in being able to like buy a quarter cow or buy, buy a half pig or something, but you don't have that other friend. You don't know anybody else who can do that. Well, this rancher does buddy packs you buy the half cow whatever and uh, they'll worry about you find about finding a partner for the rest of it which is awesome been really thinking about butchers a lot just because I don't know if it's any better really don't <laughs> My husband doesn't like talking about it, but I I think they're they're a good thing. Yep, they're not a bad thing, honey. But it's just as easy to buy big easy. chunks of meat and cut them up yourself as to buy it from a butcher, especially Whenever. seeing as I know how to cut the big chunks of beef up into little bit of pieces. Now, not everybody knows how to do that. That's true. But I do. You do. I, mean, I used to get paid to do it. You married a butcher. So, yes, it offends me every time you say it. Well, it shouldn't offend you. I'm yes, just. You're, you're right. Maybe. You're right. I just don't like playing those superstars. You don't know where your meat came from. And one thing they have is they have puppy packs. They sell dog bones. Hey, Nisi, I'm beating. Okay, you can't see what I'm doing. I'm holding it wrong. Oh, there's a list in there. Look, I'm beating. Sorry I haven't been around. I threw my back out. This is actually the first day I'm actually sitting forward and able to sit forward and bead. Yeah. No, oh. Thank you. No, no, thank me. Not that sort of stuff you're talking about. I, I, I could make your channel X-rated just by talking. I know you can. Be good. Oh, sorry for the faces. I'm moving. Oh, I'm moving. Ah. Ah. Yeah, I'm beating. And these are wonderful glasses that I wear 
to bead because I work with little tiny beads like that. So I'm making one of my print tashes. So I'm making one of her. I got an order from one of my subscribers, excuse me, who wants a Purple Maiden. So I'm doing a Purple Maiden, and uh, I got to check what other color the other lady wants, and then an Angel. So... One of these. Those are my angels. And I have to make a price list on the computer because I have one on my phone, but. I don't have it on the computer. I don't have it actually readily found on my phone. I have to look for it. But, oh, yeah. And my hubby made these. Look at what my hubby made. He made round to it. Another. Another couple of round twists. Isn't that pretty? That's purple on purple. I made this one. This is pink on gray. Oh, I think it's pink. Man. So Abby made some round to it. I have this one. This is a uh, purple with a uh, bright green. Mm. So I threw my back out on Monday. No, Sunday. Sorry. And Sunday, Monday, I was in bed. Got out of bed on Monday. Sometime during Monday, I got out of bed because I got bored. And I've been up, sitting up ever since, but it's been really painful. And I'm not healing as fast as I wished I could. So it sucks. And look at my eyes are so big and pretty. <sighs> After the eyes. So anyway, yeah. I've been in pain. And then my computer stopped. I can't crochet when I'm in pain, I've discovered, because I can't lose myself in crochet. Or at least not when I'm currently crocheting, because it I'm following a pattern. So I uh, tried to game because that's how I lose myself because that's how I deal with stuff is a game. So I tried to uh, game. And uh, hang on. Okay, I'm gonna, I am going to game. Um. So... That was a five-hour energy. That was half of a five-hour energy. It was a two-and-a-half-hour energy. Yeah. So I'm doing a lot better today than I was. Doing a lot better every day. As long as I don't re-injure myself, re-wrench it, I'm doing good. 
and I've been really careful. My bad time is nighttime when I'm sleeping. I apparently toss and turn. I was tossing and turning last night, apparently, because I woke up really sore this morning. And uh, Hubby confirmed I was tossing and turning. I woke up a couple of times on my side and in pain. And uh, I had to uh, get back on my back. It is so hard to sleep on your back. Or at least it is for me. Because I'm an active dreamer. I don't remember my dreams, but I'm an active dreamer. And uh, I don't know what I'm doing in my sleep, but I move, I talk. And I guess I've been thrashing around. Probably nightmares. I used to have night terrors. Listen, starfish, you're doing fine. Talking to my puppy. He's currently kind of laying out on the floor here. All splayed out like a starfish. He was bored. He thought he was all alone. He forgot he's next to me. Because he's old. He's old and forgetful. And yes, he forgets he's next to me. And now he's going to stop whining. Because he's right next to mom and he forgot that. Life can't be bad if he's next to mom. See? See what you're doing? Really? You get back on your mat. You're not able to go anywhere. I said so. I am. Just stitching beads. I should have some music playing in the background. It must be absolutely boring. And if it is, I'm sorry, you guys. I completely understand if you guys find something else better to do than listen to me ramble on. I just be quiet because I'm trying to find the bead. There we go. All of that weaving in and out just to get to where we need to get to. Now we do another layer. Pick up two beads in the beginning. Oh, and don't mind the face. Oh, my goodness. So what is everybody doing tonight? I know I'm beating. I'm beating while I'm on with you guys. So thank you for being here. And thank you for getting me beating. Oh. Okay. I don't want to bump that. That would suck if I broke that. My thumb drive and my computer. I have it in my computer. It enhances my gaming speed. Oh, it's a ready boost system. I'm using my 32 gig thumb drive. You know, one of those little, little USB devices, 32 gig. 
thumb drive. USB thumb drive. Oh. And I've turned it into extra memory for my computer. And it helps my game run smooth. Helps everything run smooth. And then plus when I'm in the living room, this computer is, is plugged into the internet. That's making a big difference too, I think. Okay, I got to sit back. I can't sit forward anymore. It hurts too much. Oh, Shh, puppy, you're okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. Oh, that's better. Yeah, I think he needs out. He's been whining. Yeah. Gus, get back here. Dogs get in the way all the time. I swear I heard a little dog bark just as you let them out. We don't have a little dog. So that's why I was wondering. It was weird. Okay, so I am ready to do other things now. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. It's been so long since I've made these. I think I might have made too big of one. Oh. I think I may have made too big of one. Let me see here. Give me one that's perfect. She's pretty damn close. And she is. Betcha she's five rows, not six. Oh, yeah. Two. One. Yep. Oh, five rows, not six. Damn. Damn. See, I've totally forgotten. Oh, ow. Oh, ow, oh, ow, oh, ow, oh, ow. Oh. I have totally forgotten how to do these. It's only been a summer. Since summer. Oops. So now, what I gotta do is start over. No, I don't. Actually, I just got to pick these these beads up because I only need to get to the end. So that's easy. It's one row. And this stitch allows it for easy removal. It's... Uh, going down or more than one row, that's hard. But if it's just one row, it's easy. I was thinking I should have counted it last row, and I thought, no, let's just go on. I'm enjoying it. But I was. I was enjoying it. It's all my fault. I was enjoying working with those beads. It's a pretty color.
There we go. Okay. Now to rebead, re-thread the needle. So if you're old like me and you don't like beading needles or threading needles, what I would suggest is getting these big eye needles because they're awesome. They're split right down the middle. The only issue I have is actually getting them to open up. But when they open up, do you see that? Look at how they've opened up. They open up right down the middle. And they're bent like that because they're really thin and I tend to bend them. So these are called big eye needles and they are awesome. Now, I don't want to go up through that one since I'm in this way, right? No, I don't. I want to come up through the second one. So, I got to go back down and reweave. But that's okay because I could do that. I'll go down through here. And then over. Okay. Just making sure I'm only going up the one bead. And I was. Okay, so for this one, I want the second bead. No. Yes. I want the second bead. And I'm working. Oh. Mm. I'm working black. So let's get black out. I'm going to need some of this beige out. Oh, Gussie, look at what I did. See, look at what I did. See, look. Look at what I did. Yeah, isn't that cool? <gasps> oh, my back is seizing. Oh, that hurts. Oh. Yeah, you picked up on that. That's why you were right there. Thank you. Oh, okay, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Relax. Quit licking me, dog. I'm fine. He picks up on my pain through the breath. He can tell when I'm having. Ooh, you jewel monster. I'm covered in drool. Paper towel. The bane of my existence sometimes because I can't get the freaking stuff. Oh. Gussie! Come here, Gus! Come here, Gus! Let me see your mouth. Good boy. Let me see your mouth. 
Stop it. Rat. Kept moving his face. But I got it. I got his drool. I teach him. He doesn't like his ears. I use toilet paper for his ears, and I use toilet paper to catch the drool on his face. Now, I'm training him. He doesn't like his ears being done, so he tends to run when you go for the toilet paper. But I'm training him when I hold it low, like low to the ground, a handful of toilet paper. It means I want his drool, and he comes. And he's a good boy. Yes, he is when he does that. He's a good boy. So, it's a new thing we're working on. And he's doing really good at it. He's a smart dog. Picks up things very easy. I should work with him more. Oh, my goodness. So, yeah, I'm just sitting here feeding and uh, trying to keep my back relaxed. And I think I'm going to end this at two hours. Just because. Nope. I see what I do and wrong. I did this wrong. So very wrong. Get out of my needle. Thank you. That's why you start her off in the other bead. Because you hide the string. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Things I forgot. You guys are going to think that I don't know what I'm doing. I do know what I'm doing. I just forgot. Mm -hmm. It's as simple as that. That's all I got to say. I forgot what I was doing. I remember now. I can hear Michelle's voice in my head. So I go up the third bead and go back. No, go this way. So I got to save those holes for other stuff. Oh, my darling. Oh, my darling. You're the sun shining my light. Hey, Cricket, how are you doing? I'm beating. I am beating, and it is good. That's the third one. That's the third one. That's in between. No, we are in the third one. And then we go. Round two. So how are you tonight, Cricket? How's everything? Hope you're having an awesome day.
I am beating, beating a precious princess. What a man, what a man, what a man. I don't know why I'm singing that. What a mighty fan, man. Oh, God. You know this back and forth? That really hurts my back. I gotta stop doing it, but I'm not close enough to the bead thing. Try that. Okay, so here we are. We did the first layer of the face and the hair. Hang on, just getting that in. And then two. And we pick up two. Where are you going? Where do you think you're going, dog? Yeah, you. Oh, what did you do? What did you do? Why did you do that? Why did you do that? Why, why, why? Okay, somehow my beads went wonky here. Just give me a minute while I figure out what I'm going to do about it. You get back down here where you belong. That's not what you're supposed to do. Don't you love it when the beads don't behave? No problem, Cricket. Do you want me off so you can eat? Well, you seem really quiet. Oh, thought you were done. Sorry, honey. Sorry, honey. No, I'm not. I'm just in you my. Really quiet having people watch you be while they don't know what's going on. Where I know. Ah, oh. okay. There we go. I think I got my mistake. It's out. You never know. So I am going to end it soon because my hubby hasn't eaten, neither have I, and it's pretty late. My back keeps spasming. Because it does not like me beating. Mm. Oh. Mm. Mm. 
Okay, okay, I'm gonna sit back. Oh. Ah, oh, sorry. There we go. Come on, get on the needle. You know you wanna. You know you wanna. Beige. Oh yeah. And my one and only red. I really like this bead mat that I got because the beads don't bounce when you put them on it because it's foam. I like that. I think that's really cool, this thing I got. It was from Timu. I don't order from Timu anymore, but I got some cool stuff. I can easily put in an order in Timu any day of the week. I love Timu. I do. Where are you going? What do you think you're doing? What do you got on your paw? That's smearing all across the floor. Hey, what you got on your paw, puppy? I'm afraid I know what he's got on his paw, and it ain't nice. That you're smearing all over my kitchen floor. Crap on toast. Hey, Cricket, welcome back. Oh. I am just finishing up a row and starting the third row of the face. Hey, Mary, how are you doing? This is what I got done so far. Oh. Hey, how's it going? I got closer. And that didn't really hurt that much. No. So when you're at the beginning of a row is when you can pick up two beads and put two beads on your needle. But other than that, that's the only time other than you can, it's the only time you can put two beads on your needle, beginning of the row. You Mary, you're doing okay? That's awesome. That's awesome. 
Me too. I threw my back out last week. Well, Sunday. And, uh, been paying for that all week. I have been in pain. It has sucked. Be right back, phone call, okay. Well, what time is it? 8.46. Okay. Let's get excited. Yeah, over what? Oh, now I got disco playing in my head. It's the Pointer Sisters. Woohoo. That's so exciting. I'm not lose control. I think I like it. Ooh, yeah. There we go. Now we do our two black. And then there's another row of the face done. Yeah, this is the widest part of the face. Well, not there yet. Another hairpiece. Oh, puppy, you're whining so much. I don't know why. He whines a lot in the evenings. I think it's because he's sore. He's just quiet. He just cries. I think he's sore. And he's on supplements. But he's 15. So. I'm not putting him on meds. At 15 years old. So he could have what? Another possible maybe six months to another year. If I'm lucky. No. What you doing? What you doing, buddy? Yeah? That bad, eh? You got water right in front of you, bud. I don't know what to tell you. You want dad? Dad's in the other room. And I'm right here. My poor dog.
Oh, you poor thing. I know. What's going on? Hey, what's going on? You just want dad? No, he wants off the floor, baby. Oh, I could pick him up to anyway. Yes, sir. Guess he wasn't now happy. Now he's happier. I can't pick him up anyway if he's on the floor. That's just too much for me. I can't do it with my back right now. And unfortunately, that's Unfortunately, that's not how my back went out. I didn't. It wasn't out because of the dog. No, my back went out a different way. Well, let's see if that works or if I came up with the wrong one. Now I'm declining because I got my face done pretty much. Yeah, that worked. I did it right. If I don't think it too far, I'm doing good. If I overthink it and start doubting myself, and then I that's when I'm making the mistakes I find. I did these right after my attack when I wouldn't face the world. Couldn't face the world. And uh I just sat in the trailer because that's where I felt safe. And our fire, our house was undergoing renovations because it had a fire. So I couldn't find a safe spot in my house. So I sat in our trailer, in our camper trailer, which was in the backyard. And I beat it. And I beat it, and I beat it, and I beat it. And then one store was interested in selling these as earrings. And they wanted 200 Yeah. Buddy, if I could have made 200 I would have. <laughs> Just, I couldn't. Nope. I could make you 20 No, no, I want 200 Oh, you're that. Ah, certain it's going to sell, eh? Like, good for you, but I was just a little person who couldn't do 200. So, miss the boat on that. I'm checking the time because, oh, five minutes. I'm going to stay on for five more minutes and then I'm going to add her because. It's nine o'clock, gonna be nine o'clock here. And hubby and I want supper. Yes. Outside. 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 
Where are you going? Go outside. Outside. Gets confused. Right now he's confused. Hubby's trying to lead him out the door. The poor thing's just confused. He's blind in one eye, going blind in the other, and he's deaf. Or going deaf. He can still hear, but my goodness, you never know if he actually can hear you or if he's doing that husky ignoring. Because they do that. And he's got that down pat. So I'm just weaving back and forth because I need to get the needle back up in a certain in a certain bead, come up through a certain bead for my next row. So I'm just getting back there by weaving back and forth amongst the beads. I'm doing decreases now. So I'm making sure I only get that one. Yeah, okay, I got that one. And there we go. Up the right one. Okay. Yeah. And again, pick up two beads because it's the beginning of a row. And you want that one right there. Mary, you still on your phone call? I'm just sitting here beating. Uh, three more minutes. Yeah, it's kind of like countdown, isn't it? But I really enjoyed being on here with you guys. I've been looking forward to this all week. Wanting to talk to you guys. So I told you about the gift card I got from my band which I thought was cool. And uh, I uh, told you about throwing my back out, which you can obviously see I'm still on pain from. So that's a lot of fun dealing with, yay. I told you about my computer issues that plagued me all week. Thank goodness it's working again. Yay. Shit. Oops, bind my French. And there we go, last row. Or last bead in that row. Really, I know what I'm talking about. And there's what I've gotten done so far while talking to you. Isn't that awesome? I started from nothing. And I got that much done. So thanks for being here, everybody. I'm going to say sign off now and go figure out something for supper to feed the both of us. You have a good night, and thanks for coming by. So, hey, Cass, I'm just leaving. Going to go eat. I'll message you.
Bye, everybody. Have a good one.